like clock. I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop con. I pop pistols. Reaming my body. Clothing no issue. Bitch, you look sick. You need a tissue. You drop a body. I just might bless you. I'm at your session. Yo, what is going on, everyone? It's Wraith here, back with another video. Now, in today's video, since the new arena revamp or something, arena has changed quite a bit honestly i'm not gonna lie so a lot of the, my old tips for arena actually aren't really that useful anymore so i thought i'd make kind of an updated video on how to start winning arena how to start grinding arena get up those points so you'll be able to compete in the tournaments and compete in some good quality tournaments and maybe make some money um if you're looking forward to that make sure you slap a like button and comment what you want to see for, for a future video hit that subscribe button and if you guys don't know i am streaming so make sure you check down the link in the description or look up wraith am on twitch and you guys already know make sure to use code wraith fn in the item shop now let's get into today's video before this video starts, by the way, I'm playing this game super passive. You would know if you're on the stream, but don't worry about it. There's a reason for me playing passive. I'm not just playing for the win because I don't really care about a solo win. But anyway, okay, let's get into the video. So basically with now the arena, it's basically just a W key fest because everyone's not very good, at, especially right now, especially at low point. Every single bad player is playing an arena right now. So basically what you can do for the first like 10,000 points is honestly, and what I've been doing is just W keying everyone. Literally, if like literally you see someone, just W key them. If you see a hot, if you land on a hot drop, just try and get a gun and try and slay out. I've been getting six, seven kill games right off the spawn easy just by landing at factories or landing somewhere where not a lot of people are basically, or a lot of people are. Um, so it's very, very important when you're low points, if you're a decent overall player, well then just trust me, just start W keying people and that'll get your points way up. Don't play for the end game, it's a waste of time. Just W key people and try and get your kills up as much as possible. And if you're a decent player and you win the fights a lot, then eventually you'll make it to the end game and have like six, seven, eight kills already. And then you're going to get a good amount of kills during that game as well as some placement points. Now obviously this doesn't really work for everyone, if you're not as good as a player or you're not that good, well then you can probably land somewhere outside the map, somewhere like Fatal, somewhere like Happy Hamlet, something like that, but honestly if I would recommend if you're not doing that good at the very start of Arena, like if you can barely get a couple kills um, and you're at like a thousand points or something, then I would just recommend probably not playing Arena and just focusing more on your own style of play, like focus on your mechanics, focus on playing creative, uh, getting your mechanics better, getting your IQ better, just focus on improving as a player instead of actually like spending time trying just wasting arena so i'd say actually like focus on getting better and that will actually help you in the long run instead of just chilling and playing arena playing for kills landing outside and then getting in a five person end game i wouldn't recommend that i'd say again focus more on just improving as a player and actually get better instead of just wasting your time but obviously, like I said, if you're a decent amount player, you're a pretty good player, then obviously I would say just straight up W key people, get as many kills as you can, maybe make it to the end game until you start getting to around 10,000 points, which I'll talk to later, then you want to play pretty W key role. So the next tip I'm going to give, and this is obviously as of right now, we don't know what the future of Arena is going to hold, but once right now the mecha is in the game, and especially in Arena, it is not too cool, so... Don't land in the mecha, like, unless you're not very good, don't land in the mecha, it's a waste of time, you're not improving as a player, you're not practicing your play style, sure you're getting points, but really there's no point, so don't land on the mecha, literally just practice W key, like I said, practice fighting people, but if you hear a mecha, and this is a big tip, stay away, don't try and engage in the fight, don't try and take it 1v1, you will get absolutely clapped, as I'm sure a lot of you guys know, pretty OP thing right now in the game not too much you can do against them so if you hear one or you see one definitely run in the opposite direction or that's what I've been doing because it's just an irritating way to die and there's not really much you can do so definitely take your time and just practice not going not fighting the mecha but like I said I wouldn't worry about trying to get learn the mecha because I personally don't think it'll be around for much longer or hopefully it's not but yeah just try and stay away from it because it's just a bad way of dying and you can't really do much against it 
Now the next tip, and this is a pretty big one, is go for natural high ground, especially in the late game. So once you start getting later on in points, it's going to actually start turning into kind of a better end game. Obviously they still won't be that good, but they're going to be better. And basically a big thing that I always like giving as a tip is go for natural high ground, whether you're mid game, early game, or end game. So let's talk about early game. So say for example you land Happy Hamlet or fatal or something natural high ground would be on top of a house or on top of a little hill or something like that that's what natural high ground is meaning you don't have to waste mass you don't have to build up and you get good cover because then you don't have to worry about someone coming from above you or behind you and you can hear and just laser down shots mid game would be again a big mountain you go on top of i don't know the mountain in between salty and um the dusty depot like somewhere like that because basically what that allows you to do is not get shot so you can survive better as well as the fact that you can just laser people who are down underneath you and they can't really build up because if they try and build up and fight you then they're basically get lasered now end game is probably the most important time to take height and basically that means if you're on height end game especially natural high ground then that means that you don't have to waste mats getting to height you don't have to waste mats building a couple 90s up or building a one by one up and basically you can just focus on absolutely destroying people getting a good amount of damage getting good shots etc etc now the next tip i'm going to give is play your play style and what i mean about that is once again once you get to the higher range of points and once you get pretty good point range basically you want to start playing your play style and practicing like it's an actual tournament or an actual game so now what i mean about that is if you're just playing w key um to get up points that's fine but if you start playing w key and that's not really your play style 10,000 points you're just going to lose a bunch of points and not only that but it's just going to be bad for practice because that's not how you play say you play a little bit more smart you like getting two or three kills and then you like going for the w well then start playing like that once you get higher amount of points and that will allow you to become a better player and practice your play style if you're playing a w key play style and that's not how you really play well then trust me it's not going to go that good for you so once you start getting high points start going back to your normal field of play if you're w key you're sure continue to w key that's different that's okay but if you're not then trust me just start playing a little bit more more passive and more like more more your type of play style now this next step I'm going to give is a pretty big one. It's kind of like the natural high ground, but especially when you start getting to the end game, it's going to be a pretty important and it's basically make sure that you rotate early. So why rotating early is so, so important, especially late game is it allows you to start like shooting at people coming out of the zone and you can storm hold people. So you can even use this tip mid game and early game. If you go mid game and box up in the next zone, like in the middle of the next zone, well, that means you're probably not going to have to move for the next couple of zones and you can just chill. You can take your time. You're like, hey, I'm fine. I'm not going to have to do that much, blah, blah, blah. And basically you can just relax, chill, and then you're going to get an easy, nice three zones without having to move or waste mats. Early game or end game is a little bit different. If you rotate early and basically let's say it starts a moving zone and you rotate early with a launch pad or you run or you tunnel or whatever the case is, you can box up in the new zone or box up on the edge of zone and basically just fire at people coming in. I've talked about this before and it's a pretty big tip. So basically when someone is running in to the zone, they're worried about the storm behind them. They're worried about uh, not have enough mats, they're worried about people besides them, they're worried about people behind them, in front of them. So basically, if you're already in the zone, you can just laser the people because they're so worried about other things and external factors that they're not worried about you. And then basically, all you have to do is just chill, wait a couple of seconds, and then you're good to go. And then basically, you have free kills, free health by getting the kill. Um, obviously, if you don't have much mats, it's kind of hard. And if you have a launch pad, sure, then you can rotate late, but trust me if you don't then rotate as early and pos as early as possible and that will help you the best that it possibly can now the last tip i'm going to give and a lot of people i see don't end up doing this and basically it's warm up before you play and don't just hop into arena so the reason why this is a big one is a lot of people will literally just hop on and they'll just hop into arena and start like that's their practice is basically warming up against kids who aren't that good or whatever the case is right and I honestly don't recommend that 
as a practice or a warm up because sure like it might work when you're very low points but what i always like doing and just to get you in that mood of okay it's time for fortnite it's time to start focusing it's time to hit my shots blah 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 what i like to do is just go in creative again practice creative for 20 30 minutes just practice my builds practice my aiming etc etc and then once you feel comfortable then that's when you go in arena or even play a couple solos like for me I like playing a couple solos before I go into arena, just it gives me a little bit more confidence, makes me feel a little bit cleaner, makes me hit my shots more I find, and plus, again, it just makes me feel more confident, which is probably the biggest thing. So hopefully this video helped you guys out, if it did, make sure you slap the like button, make sure you comment, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and make sure you check out my Twitch, I will be streaming after this, and use creator code RATHFN in the end. I'll see you guys all in the next video, have a good one everyone, peace. Oh,